Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Joseph Coz is here from Twin River. On the menu this morning, you've probably had a lot of turkey. No, we're going to do swordfish chop. That's what we're going to put together. How are you? Very good. Thanks. So? For, thank you for uh, coming in. Great to have you here today. So. This is something that's that's on the menu all the time, and I know you said the the Christmas parties, the parties have already begun mm -hmm. at uh, at Twin River. Tell us what we need to put this together. So this is actually one of one of our few specials that we have reoccurring at Fred and Steve's mm -hmm. Steakhouse, and what we have is a what I like to call a very dynamic cut of meat. This oh, so is it's actually still on the bone, just this, like the pork yep, chop. Would this be. is a swordfish chop. There's only two for every swordfish. It comes straight off the collar. Uh, back in the day, they would just discard the collar, use the meat. Okay. But this is where. The center cut meets the belly, and it ends up being very flavorful. The rest of the ingredients are all typical household ingredients we have. We have salt, we have some roasted garlic we've done, some thyme, butter, white wine, chicken stock, olive oil, lemon, and mm -hmm. some shallots and tomato. And that's it. That's it. This dish is very simple, but uh, it's got to be handled with a little bit of kids' gloves. Well, that, that's what, you know, I'm looking at this and saying, well, can you just go to the market and just ask for this if they don't have it like this on the chop, no. uh, on the bone itself? So you're going to have to go to a specialty butcher for this. That's why we kind of specialize in this cut. We okay. get it from Ipswich Shellfish up in Massachusetts. Right. Uh, they make them exclusively for us. And again, there's only two for every swordfish. It's kind of like the prize porterhouse where you may get four or six for every uh, cattle. Right. This one, you're only going to get two for every fish. Okay, all right, so you have that. And then you also have something else over here. You've got some uh, some crab, some avocado. We do. We're going to keep it with a nice little light salad off to the side. we got some king crab meat, because only the best at Fred and Steve's. Mm -hmm. Avocado, frisee lettuce, some red onion, and then we're going to make a little vinaigrette with champagne vinegar and some harissa paste. Okay, easy enough to do. We'll put this together. And as you know, Twin River is always busy. Fred, Fred and Steve's is a, is a great place for a party as well, and it will be party season up there. We'll put this together, talk to, uh, talk to Joseph about about uh, what's going on up at the casino and for and Steve's back to you. Loved up with Chef Joseph from Twin River. It's a great place over there. Lots of delicious uh, restaurants. Swordfish chop is what we're making. Let's get to it. All right. So we got a, we got a pan already hot. Mm -hmm. It's not smoking or anything because I don't have any oil in the pan currently. So I've salt and peppered this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the oil to this. That way I don't deal with anything splashing up at me when hey, I go in the pan. that's a great tip. Yeah. I don't and, think to do that. And then from here, now I can add more olive oil to the pan as I want. All right. Get that sizzle going. Yep. The key to this now is to sear it on all sides. Again, this is going to be a a very tender piece of meat so once it comes once we're finished with it we can't really touch it too much more because it'll fall apart it'll fall right off the bone okay all right yum that sounds good though that it will fall yep. right off the bone you're gonna let that sear on the bottom okay. it'll start to come on off over here we'll get some of our other ingredients if you want to grab some shallots you All can right. put some right inside just around the outside that's there. it and that's more than enough oh okay. there you go a couple tomatoes Keeping them whole? Yep, keeping them whole. They'll probably burst on their own. They right? will, and this is where the chefs will call a, like a blistered tomato. Uh, All right. yeah. It's going to get a nice sear on the sides. Let's take a half a lemon. Let's put that just directly over into the pan right there, just face down. Oh, oh, we're not even going to squeeze it. Just putting that down. This there. is going to help you squeeze it when it comes out of the oven. It's going to slowly immerse that lemon flavor into ah. the dish. And when it's done, you'll be able to squeeze it with a pair of tongs nice and easy. Yum. All right, then from here, let's take a little pinch of our roasted garlic. We roasted that ahead of time. Okay. I love garlic. I'm going to put two pinches yeah. in there. <laughs> a little bit of dried thyme. Now, typically we'd like to use fresh, but it didn't come in fresh the way we want it. Right. Is so, the thyme going on the outside or on the fish itself? Right on the pan. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now, from this point, I could actually kind of pull it away from the heat. If you feel as though it's getting a little bit too hot, mm -hmm. then you could see that this fish is going to sear right on the bottom just like that. Yeah. I could sear all the sides. Okay. All right. Now, a little bit of white wine. That smells great. That's perfect. And a little Yay. bit of chicken stock. Now, the reason we use chicken stock, it's the less salty of all the broths that are out there. If you ah. use the seafood stock, it could end up being a little bit too powerful at the end. All right. From well, here, we'll just finish it in the oven. There we go. It already smells delicious in here once we've kicked everything up. Uh, if you want this recipe, you know to go to our website. We will finish things up in just a minute. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Twin River, that's the place today, and we have swordfish chops on the menu, and we were just talking about all the events that are happening at uh, Twin River all the time. Yeah. You know, now restaurants up there, you can go have a, a Christmas party, holiday parties, there's great bars, there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of There's a whole thing. other casino in Tiverton. There's a whole casino yeah. in too. Yeah, there tends to be a lot, and you know, the uh, holidays tends to be a very electric time around the I casino. Mm -hmm. Not only the desire to uh, turn the page and have a wonderful new year, yeah. but also ways to celebrate with the family, or even by yourself, if you don't. Want to right. Go with anybody mm -hmm. else. Little alone time. Yeah. That's for yeah. sure. We Whatever got sports works. betting starting today at three o'clock, and uh, it's going to be a great way to uh, 
maybe check out how the Patriots are going to do next sure. week. Yeah, sure. Yeah, a lot of people are excited about yeah. that. Yeah, they so are. It's nice to see that addition. That's great. All right, so so what do we have here? So we have the swordfish chop. It was cooked in the oven. Now, you again, I like promised, this thing is going to be extremely tender. You can see it just kind of mm -hmm. falling apart, just mm -hmm. like wow. that. Yeah. Let's take a whole piece of butter right on inside. All right. All right. Let's right there. Well, let's go right in the sauce. Right let's let it start melting and squeeze that lemon. Watch how easy that is to squeeze. Oh, yeah. If you want to start making our salad. Sure. What's going in the salad? We'll start with the olive oil and the champagne vinegar. You dump that all in. Okay. All right. And then I got a spoon there for you for some honey as oh, well. Some honey. There's your right. vinegar. There's the vinegar. All right. Whip that, that up. Yep. And then we'll pour some honey in there to help us thicken it up. Go ahead. A little harissa paste, which is just a chili paste from Morocco. It's so got a little, little bit of spice in it, so we won't put too much in. And then we'll actually hit it with a little bit of this Dijon mustard as mm -hmm. well. That's I also like going to give us some thickener. And then why don't you put some salt and pepper in there. Okay, season it All up. All right. You see how that sauce is thickening up yep. for us right here? Yep. Put a little parsley inside for color. All right, we're going to let that finish. Okay. Your dressing's good. Okay. Now we need all these ingredients in here. So we have some frisée lettuce. We have some red onion, avocado if you want to grab that. Sure. And some king crab meat. I wow. love avocado. That's it. That king crab in there. All right, I got a pair of a spoon right beside you if you want to mix that on up. Give that a toss. All right, now for this right here, we're going to be Yum. a little bit more gentle than we I was going to say, you're were. probably going to be a little gentle with this, right? Believe it or not, the chop piece can break just as easily. Oh, really? All right, and that's really what we want to market because nobody is offering a swordfish chop. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that Let's before. Let's take those Steph. tomatoes, just place them on the dish. Right, and here. that salad looks fantastic. You did a great job there. Thank you. Let's take that. Okay. All right, you can pour that sauce on the plate. We'll put the salad right here. Oh, my gosh. That looks so good. This. Yeah. And then right, this right here, we're just going to pour already it. You've already squeezed it. Yep. You know, Is I'm that gonna too grab, hard? I'm going to yep. grab this thing, even though it's got that on there, it's still hot. And we'll pour this on here. Wow. And then you have a swordfish chop. That looks so good. Now, Chef, you were mentioning before that this is a great time of year to head on over, especially if you're celebrating the holidays. And you mentioned a new spot that we can do that and kind of enjoy Christmas time. We do. So last week, we just opened the Miracle Bar. It's on our second floor. Um, from any day, there could be a, you know, uh, we do fundraising, whether it be uh, Project Broken Wheel. We just did that the other day. But mm -hmm. on the weekends, we turn it to this ultra chic, just Christmas bar. Mm -hmm. All the drinks are holiday themed. They all come in specialty glasses, whether it be Santa Claus or, or you know, an elf on the mug. Uh -huh. There's games on the stage where you and your group can just go up, grab anything from Candyland to uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, play on the table. That and, sounds uh, awesome. You know, mu uh, music as well as also movies on the screen that are Christmas oriented. So right. don't shoot your eye out, but you can see it on the yeah. stage. <laughs> and, and also, it's a great place for, for companies that are looking for a place to have a, uh, mm -hmm. a holiday party, Christmas mm -hmm. party, whatever it is. And then, believe it or not, New Year's will be here too. And that's also a great time Correct. to add up to see you folks too. That is. Whether it be Twin River or the Tiverton Casino, we have a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's great. That's great. Good well, place. Well, it looks delicious. Good here, place. I'll grab a fork here okay. and give this a try. I'll pass this over to you. Thank you. There you go. Got it. Yep. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to go for some of those blistered tomatoes. Here we go. It actually really didn't even take that long to, to put this together. No, it didn't. It's, mm. it, it's, it's very easy to do. And again, the piece that what makes this swordfish what it is. The juice is so good. It's the center cut where it meets the belly. So right. it's got a lot of mm. flavor. Put that right back down It certainly there. does. That is a delicious plate of food. If you want to enjoy it with your family, you can get the recipe at roadshow.com.